Hi, this is Greg Crow Hartman. I'm going to talk about how I apply a patch to the Linux kernel stable tree. So right now I got one terminal with a bunch of different tabs opened up. First one is a Linux stable 3.0, then a 3.4, then a 3.5, then a 3.6. Yeah, we have a lot of stable trees running right now. And we have our queue, which is where we keep all our patches inside. This is a git tree of itself. And then my local kernel directory. And in this directory is a copy of Linus's tree right now. And I'm looking at my mailbox of all my stable patches that we need to apply. So let's look for some SCSI patches right now. I know these will work well. Um, we get email. Every patch that gets sent to Linus's tree that has a tag that says stable, it gets sent to a mailing list. And this is a copy of that. So here's a copy of the patch. That was one upstream. It shows it was from Dan right here. And so let's apply this. So we're in the email client and we can just hit one key. It has to be A. It pops up a window with the patch in it in an editor. Let's clean up the subject a little bit because I use quilt and it'll strip that SCSI off. Uh, patch looks good. Scroll down a little bit and delete the stable copy because we are stable. Oops. Add my signed off by. And the patch looks reasonably simple. I did this before. So it's a bug fix. So let's save it. And the script goes. It goes to the Linux 3.6 tree, applies it, applied cleanly. Everything's great. So press a key. Go 3.5, it applies it. Uh, there is one offset, eight lines. If I wanted to see what was going on here, I could look at both the patch and the original tree. We can do that right now. Bring that up. There's the original source. Here's the patch itself. It was just an offset of some lines, so we're good. If there's rejects here, I can apply it um, with a force and I can edit it up and clean that up that way or we can reject it if we don't think this is going to apply there. So it lets us see that, make sure everything is applied properly. So the patch was fine. Let's go on. Let's refresh it. Everything is good for 3.5. 3.4, again, same thing. Offset of eight lines, not a big problem. Refresh it. And 3.0, again, offset of 43 lines, not a big problem. This is a good, an easy patch. So 3.0, and it's all done. So that one is done. We can save it, and that's how we apply patches. Let's do one a little bit faster, show you how it normally go. Let's clean this up again. Go down. Apply this. It's good. 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 And good. So then we can go to the directory itself. And we can see that the last, that uh, the 3.0, we applied these last two SCSI patches. Same thing with 3.4, 3.5, 3.6. I will normally go and test build them um, on this laptop because it's a pretty slow laptop. Um, they are all in this directory. We have modified them, 3.0, 3.4, 3.5, 3.6. Let us test them for a second. Um, we have a test script that goes and tests, sends off all the patches to remote server, builds them, and emails them back when it's done. So we'll do that. Oh, that. Is okay. His remote has 32 processors and is submitted. Um, that takes about six to eight minutes. I'm not going to wait around for that. Uh, so right now, I already tested this before. They built fine. Let's just apply these. So we have a wonderfully descriptive patch, a script called Do It All for the 3.0 kernel. And what this does is it'll take the patches. Send off email to everybody, commit them to the tree, and push them out publicly. And then that's it. So let's do that for the 3.4.
And again for three dots, six. Oops, forgot three dot five. And that's how we apply patches to the Linux kernel stable tree.